I'm not a politician. I've been an engineer for 30 years, 33 years now, um, project management as well. I've got a degree in computer science. Uh, and I hope to bring some practical problem-solving skills to, uh, to the political realm because, again, we've gotten so ideological and so deadlocked that Congress doesn't really work, uh, doesn't do anything anymore. We've got an economy right now that is basically a two-tier economy. It works great for the top 1%, but working in middle-class wages has been stagnant for over 20 years. Uh, we're going in the wrong direction on health care. Uh, uh, the uninsured rate is actually going up in the state of Texas. My district in particular ranks 407 out of 435 congressional districts for uninsured rate. You guys' districts are probably just as bad because the state of Texas uh, is the worst for uninsured rate in the entire country. We've got kids in cages on our border, and we've got kids getting shot in our classrooms. And this is not the America that I believe in, and it's not the America that I intend to hand off to the next generation. Now, my opponent doesn't seem to think any of these things are, are problems that need to be solved. Uh, he voted for the, the tax scam uh, back in November of last year, uh, despite knowing the fact that it would shift the tax burden away from the corporations and the wealthy onto the backs of the poor, the working, and the middle classes. He's voted over 50 times to repeal the Affordable Care Act, uh, despite the fact that that would take health care away from tens of millions of, Amer of Americans, including tens of thousands in, in my district. He fully supported the Justice Department's zero tolerance um, a policy on the board that resulted in the separation of almost more than 3,000 kids from their parents, over 500 of which are still separated from their parents. The beauty of our system is every two years we get to make a choice, right? But we can choose to build an economy that works for everybody, that supports working and middle class wage growth, as well as corporate profits and stock prices. We can choose to extend health care to every American by expanding Medicare, by protecting Medicaid, and eventually going to a single payer universal health care system. We can choose to invest in our public education system. 90% of our population goes through the public education system. Therefore, 90% of our workforce goes through the public education system. We can choose legislators who are going to implement comprehensive immigration control that, and implement immigration laws that both meet our economic needs as well as reflect our values as a society. And we can choose to reduce the levels of gun, of gun violence in this country. We don't have to infringe on the Second Amendment to do it. I'm convinced we can reduce the levels of gun violence in this country without infringing on the Second Amendment at all. And this is a very aggressive goal, but if we can reduce gun violence by two-thirds in this country over the next 10 years, we can save 100,000 American lives. And saving American lives should never be a topic that's subject to partisan bickering. No, we're not electing a president this time around, but when you look at it just from a practical perspective, we're elected 435 members of Congress as well as 35 senators. So 470 out of the total 535 uh, members of Congress are on the ballot uh, this year. So one third of your, of your three branches of government, um, the legislative branch is almost entirely on the ballot at every two years. Uh, so you have to take that very seriously. And I also want to point out that the judicial branch is also on the ballot every two years because those 35 senators that are on the ballot this year may wind up on the, ju on the Judiciary Committee and will definitely have to advise and consent the executive branch on nominations to the judicial branch. Uh, and if this week hasn't told us how important and acrimonious that process can be, then no week ever will. So literally, the, the legislative and judicial branches are both on the ballot every two years. And it's extremely important to get out and vote and, and, and express your views uh, and influence those selections. So that's why I'm running for office, folks. I think I've got plenty to bring to the table. We've got a lot of uh, issues that we need to work out. Again, my name is Rick Kennedy. I'm running for Congress in the 17th District.